Hey there everyone and how are you guys doing today? I am Joe Marine from MobileCupOfJoe.com and in this video today I'm going to be unboxing the Motorola Moto X on no carrier, it's unlocked. Uh, this is the Motorola Moto X I actually designed on Moto Maker. I know this device is pretty old, well a few months old at this point, which a few months is pretty old in the smartphone market. But I designed this on Moto Maker. I got 70 bucks off of the unlocked GSM variant. Uh, if you buy your Motorola Moto X from Moto Maker anytime before Valentine's Day, which that deal may or may not still be active by the time this video is uploaded, hopefully it is, um, 70 bucks off an unlocked price for the Moto X anytime before Valentine's Day. So I thought, you know what? I want a custom phone. I want cool features on the Moto X. So I went ahead, threw my money down, and bought it. Customized it. It looks sick. Can't wait to see it. Haven't seen what it looks like yet out of the box. So you know what? Let's go ahead, let's stop talking, let's take a look at the Moto X in this unboxing video for MCOJ. But before we go any further, please go ahead and grab that coffee cup, fill it up, bring it over, and sit on down. Take a swig for a mobile cup of Joe. Okay, so here we go with my unboxing video for the Motorola Moto X. Again, uh, we did not receive this from you know, Motorola or Verizon, AT&T, whatever. I bought this myself with my own money because um, I've got the Nexus 5 right now, but I've been really looking at the Moto X for quite some time now, but really haven't been able to get in at a good sale price, but then they had that $70 off until Valentine's Day, and I thought, you know what? Let's go ahead and just take the plunge. Even though it has been out for a few months, I love the touchless controls, uh, the active notifications, Motorola Assist, all that stuff really compel me to buy this phone and the fact that I can custom design it and that's manufactured in the United States of America and Texas where I was actually born. Um, all of it just kind of seemed like a no-brainer to me so I went ahead and bought it. And here we go, the Motorola Moto, Motorola Moto X. Read me first, a Motorola logo. Activate your Moto X, Moto X logo on the side. Pretty little colors on the back with a Motorola logo right there. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this puppy right here. Really liking um, the minimalistic design on the package feel looks well feels like plastic, but uh feels very good just from a first impression or looks very good and We got our handy dandy Santoku giant knife right here not a sponsor But Santoku makes some fantastic knives for cutting your steak or if you're cutting some vegetables or opening up a box for a Moto X I'm um, just trying not to cut your fingers when you do so and uh, that might not be that easy of a task right here, but we got it through that, slid it through, and we'll slide it out, see if we can pull this plastic off. There we go, pulling off nice and easy. Did not cut a limb off, so that's always a win when you don't lose a finger. Throw that to the side. Oh, that was actually a pamphlet. There's the front of the box, very dandy right there. A Moto Maker, just a little instruction manual to help you get started with the Moto X. There is the actual front of the box. This is Moto X designed by you. Assembled in the USA, very cool that Motorola is touting the fact that this is made in the USA. And you know what, they really should, because that's a very cool selling point for this phone. And you know what, let's stop wasting time, let's go ahead and see what my phone looks like. Uh, so excited, let's see how it turned out, oh my god, that looks so, oh that looks so nice. And that back feels amazing, holy crap, um, oh god that looks so good. Alright, so I'll go ahead and show you the design I went for. As you can see, I got a white front right here, and then I went for the cherry red back with the yellow accents for the camera lens and the uh, volume rocker and the power button. And I also got the, once to focus in right there, Mobile Cup of Joe logo, or not the logo, but our name engraved into the back, which actually looks kind of more like a decal, um, feels more like a de decal, but either way, that is still really, really cool. You look at it on Motomaker, but to hold it in the hand, this is the first time I've actually ever held a Moto X. Um, just feels really good. It looks so cool. Um, I'm just kind of taking a minute because that is just way too awesome. We're going to go ahead and set that to the side for a minute, though, just to see what else is included in the package. Um, what did Motorola throw in here? Moto X. Um, looks like just some quick start guides. We'll go ahead and close that back up. We'll take a look at it later. And will it close? Will it close? That is the question. There we go. Um, right here we have our micro USB to full USB syncing slash charging cable. We have our AC wall outlet adapter, which I really like how there are two USB ports in here. You can actually even choose the color of the cable and the AC outlet on Motomaker, which I found very neat. And right here, what do we have? I'm guessing 
This will be our SIM removal tool. If you can open it up, there we go. Yep, a our Motorola themed SIM removal tool. And the Moto X is actually uses a nano SIM instead of the more standard micro SIM. And I've actually got a nano SIM um, from Consumer Cellular, which is my preferred service provider for my smartphone, sitting on the kitchen table. So for this unboxing video, we're gonna go ahead and have to go get my nano SIM set up and get this phone working on my service. So let's go ahead and pull this plastic off. I'm really am liking that white front right there and just looks so good with the red and the yellow. Um, yeah, this is just a damn good looking phone. Really can't get over that. Very, very cool. So let's go ahead and turn this bad boy on right here. Hold the power button. And I think it vibrated. Maybe not. There we go, Motorola, a Google company. You can actually choose to have a little saying and uh, personalize the boot animation. I decided not to go with that. Um, there it goes, loading up right there. Pretty nice little uh, boot animation right there. Gotta say, looks mighty nice. Just going through that right now. All right, welcome. Um, I did choose to have this set up on my Google account, or I logged, synced my Google account with it, so it would be interesting to see if it actually did do that. Um, English is waiting for a connection. Well, there's no SIM card in you guys, so you're not gonna have a connection right now. So there's my Wi-Fi. We're gonna skip that for now. I'll skip anyway, we can do that. About your privacy, accept and continue. Personalizing, I'm sure you've Google account. Okay, so it looks like I did actually get my Google account in there, but since I'm not connected to Wi-Fi and I do not have um, a SIM card in there just yet, or at least, is there a SIM card in there? It's saying T-Mobile. There might be a T-Mobile SIM card in there right now. Um, let's go ahead and skip that for now. Um, no, it looks like our Google account is not in there, which is interesting. Um, maybe later. Just look at the phone. So here we go. This is the Motorola Moto X. It looks like this is the updated version to um, Android 4.4 KitKat. Let's go ahead and just take a look in the settings to confirm it. It is, in fact, uh, running on KitKat out of the box, which is very nice. Think that this phone was initially released with Android version 4.2.2 Jelly Bean. So it is very cool to have that update to KitKat out of the box like that. Now, you will not be getting the Google Experience Launcher on here like you have on the uh, Google and LG Nexus 5, but Motorola has included all of their own custom tweaks in here. Uh, the two or the three big ones for those are Motorola or Moto Assist. You have the touchless control and the active notifications. At least those are the three big main ones to me. Or also, worthy mention, you can open the camera app by twisting your wrist a couple times, and you have the camera app right there. Um, but what's really cool, one of the coolest ones for me, anyways, is active notifications. So say that the Moto X is lying on its face right there. You've probably seen this numerous times, so I just want to point out these features real quick. I can flip it over, and I've got my time right there, and I can unlock the phone like that. So if I had a text message or something from somebody while the screen was turned off, it was lying down on its face, or it was in my pocket, pulled over. If I have an email or text message or a phone call, I will see it right here, and I can go ahead and actually open it right there. Now this is a 4.7 inch display, but it feels relatively compact in the hand. A uh, resolution of 1280 by 720 PHD, not 1080 PHD resolution, but it is a Super AMOLED panel, which I am a very, very big fan of. And you know, it actually looks really good so far. You have those nice high uh, color saturation. And in terms of your processor, it's actually interesting. You have Motorola's own custom X8 computing system, which consists of a 1.7 gigahertz dual core, a Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Pro chipset, with a quad-core Adreno 3, 320 GPU with two additional cores, uh, those two additional cores being a, one for contextual computing and one for natural, natural language processing. So there's also touchless control in here, which I'm going to set up um, after this unboxing video. But essentially, if the phone is turned off like this, I can say, OK, Google Now, and have it turn on and start searching on Google Now for me. So again, it's not doing it just yet because I still have to go ahead and set it up with my voice. But there is a quick look at the Motorola Moto X. Going to try to get a review for, the, for this thing up relatively soon. I have a couple other products I need to get reviewed because I'm on deadlines for it. But really just want to show you what the custom design Moto X does look like. Um, I am loving it so far. I like my engraving. Love my color choices. Really just excited to get in with this phone. I also used some of the, a lot of the features of the Moto X that when I reviewed the Motorola Droid Ultra. But just this design of the Moto X, it feels so good in the hand. It just rests very nicely with that gentle curve. 
Um, and I'm just super excited to finally be able to get the chance to review this puppy right here. So keep it tuned to mobilecupofjoe.com for a full, full review. It will be a bit late just because Moto X is kind of an older smartphone at this point. But if there's something certain you want to see us cover in the review, let us know in the description below. And if you liked the video, please go ahead and hit the like button if you liked it. And subscribe to us as well to show your support. Make sure you like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and circle us on Google+. And head on over to our website at www.mobilecupofjoe.com for the latest in technology news, reviews, giveaways, and more. I am Joe Marion from mobilecupofjoe.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.